And we take a look now at yet another way women enjoy spending their money. Every year, billions of dollars are spent on hair extensions, wigs, coloring, and other effects. The hairstyling industry producing the latest fashionable trends is without a doubt a cutthroat industry that's developing fast. And it's happening as Africa's middle class continues to boom. CGTN's Jane Keo reports from China's Henan province taking a look at one business that's expanded around the world. They are on almost every street in shopping malls and beauty stores. Indeed, wigs and weaves have become an accessory, a fashion statement, or to some women, a necessity. Beautiful. When wearing a wig may be easy, but behind this finished, beautiful work of art is an intricate, delicate production web. An assembly line that chants out millions of weeds and waves. At the Henan Rebecca factory, hundreds of women carefully sew pieces of hair into perfection, while others are hand knitting them. The products are made from real human hair and synthetic fiber. So we call it a high posing uh, process. Our workers uh, will have the introduction from uh, our R&D department. They will get, give them uh, a picture. Founded in the early 90s by Jung's father, Rebecca's initial plan was for the domestic and regional market. But in just a few years, it had spread to the U.S., Europe, and Africa, where it has two factories in Nigeria and Ghana. The market is very interesting and also very passionate. You never feel uh, have the concern uh, the market have a problem. Africans are said to be spending at least $6 billion annually on wigs, weaves and braids. And keeping up with the changing trends is any manufacturer's challenge. For Rebecca, this means having a flexibility to cater for all. In Africa, products range from as low as $10 per piece of synthetic hair to hundreds of dollars for human hair. The synthetic braids are more popular. Uh, in Africa because it's like uh, very basic styles and uh, uh, more people can afford uh, the price. Rebecca now produces 20 brands of weaves and wigs and exports to more than 40 countries. However, China remains its biggest high-end market. Pieces retail for as high as $800 in its 300 stores across the country. Wigs for them are like uh, fashion items. And uh, now a lot of uh, successful women, uh, they have a different life role. So with the evolving demands, the hair business certainly does not look like it will be gone tomorrow. And that's good news for Rebecca and many other companies. Jin Keo, CGTN, Henan, China.